This might be my shortest video ever, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to export high quality TikToks from Final Cut Pro in just five simple steps. And there are five simple steps now because of the newest Final Cut Pro update. So make sure you're updating. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're all about creativity in filmmaking. So if it's something that you're into, that didn't make any sense, follow along. <laughs> butchered, absolutely butchered. Step one starts with how you create your project and with the recent update, this made Final Cut Pro a content powerhouse. So slipping over to Final Cut Pro, go up to file at the top, create your library. I'm just gonna say mine off in movies and just call it FPX or FCPX template. And you'll notice the click clack and I ended up getting myself a gaming keyboard. Anyway, back into the video. From here, we're gonna create a new library. So command N name it whatever you want, vertical. Now here's where step two comes in. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to video. When I say all the way, just three lines down. And you'll see these new items at the bottom. Click vertical, then change up your resolution where previously you only had 1080 by 1920, you now have 2160 by 3840. Your rate we're gonna to set to 23.98. And then the rest of the settings will just leave as they are. So if they're different from what's on screen for you, change them up. So step three is to edit, do everything you need to your video. And once you're ready to export, let's start on step four. So hit Command E to export or go up to the share icon. From here, go into your settings. The format needs to be for Apple devices. So you may be set on video and audio, go down to Apple devices, video codec, make sure we're on better quality and the resolution, let's bring that to 1216 by 2160. From there, hit next, save off your video, and then you should be all good to go. Now step five is getting it from your computer to your phone. So if you're using an iPhone, I highly recommend using AirDrop just from your Mac to your phone. If you're using an Android phone, however, I suggest using something like Google Drive or Dropbox, or maybe even a cable if you have it, something that isn't going to reduce the or compress the file in exchanging it from your computer to your phone. That's where you'll lose a lot of the quality. So be careful there. And there you go. I hope you found this video useful. And of course, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, do what you gotta do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Or just go follow me on TikTok. You post them more regularly.